I've been exploring the new GSAP interactions on Webflow over the past few weeks now, and there is this particular effect which would definitely elevate your animations. It's called the stagger effect. And in this video, I'll be showing you three different animations you can do with this effect. The first one is the text reveal effect, and the other two are image reveal effects, which are quite similar. Let's get started with the first one. Add a section with any background color you would want and change the height to about 100 VH so that it covers the entire page. Make sure to keep the layouts in flex, horizontal and centered. Then you can add the heading and edit it to the text you want and how you want it. With the section selected, go to interactions, add a page load interaction with a custom action. I would keep the duration to less than a second, maybe 0.6. Make sure the form is checked as always and set the move Y from 200% and to 0%. Then select the stagger and total time. You can make it the same duration as earlier or maybe a lesser duration. Then check the box that says split text and then select split by letter. You can adjust the easing to suit the one you want, but to make it smoother, animate the opacity from 0% to 100% and you're good to go. For the next two animations, add the images you want to a div block. Make sure to give them all the same color so it is easy to edit it and adjust their sizes to fit as well. You will see that they are all lined up in a straight line so to stack them on top of each other, select the div block and change the position to relative. Then select each of the individual images and change their position to absolute. You can use the Z index to select which picture stays on top. The higher the index, the more on top it stays. Then for the second animation, select a page load animation and add the custom effects. We will make the duration about 1 second and check the form as always. Go to class and make sure you are animating the div block. Then change the scope to descendants and add an asterisk so it targets the elements in the div block. On the move X, we will animate from 100 VH so it moves to the end of the page then to 0 VH. Then you can add the stagger effect now with a total time of the same duration. Change the ease to power one in out for a smooth animation. The last animation is actually very similar to the first one. We are going to keep all the variables the same as the previous animation, but this time we would remove the move x variable and animate only the scale. So we are going to animate from 0 to 1 or maybe 1.5 so it looks bigger. You can try different ease options to see how the pictures can animate and that is it for the animations. So there you have it, three different stagger animations that you can use. The idea is to play around with the variables, the easies and the durations. This way you can be able to explore different kinds of animations for your designs.